spirochete that causes Lyme disease is Borrelia burgdorferi and related Borrelia. The model that, that I have used to try to understand all of the possible things that Lyme disease can do is the syphilis model. Stokes, Modern Clinical Syphilology, 1945, W.B. Saunders publisher. It gets into every organ system of the body, and there are chapters on manifestations in the skin, manifestations in dead babies, manifestations in the bone, uh, manifestations in the brain, and particularly dementia, because dementia and syphilis was general paresis, and general paresis is as close as you could come to a carbon copy of Alzheimer's disease. The diseases are exactly the same. If a spirochete, syphilis, could cause dementia, why couldn't the Borrelia spirochete, over a long, long, long period of time, cause Alzheimer's disease? I extracted DNA from 10 Alzheimer brains that came from the Harvard University Brain Bank. These are the Harvard brain DNA extracts in uh, this tube. Using molecular methods, I was able to find the DNA of the spirochete, which causes Lyme disease, in 7 out of 10 of the Alzheimer's brain specimens that we received from Harvard. That's incredible. The results of the experiment could not have been predicted in anybody's imagination when seven Alzheimer brains gave me essentially the same thing, which is part spirochetal, part human, linked up in one molecule, I about fell off my chair. If my dream comes true someday, that will redefine the practice of medicine. That will redefine the lives of millions of people. Since spirochetes are the cause of neurodegenerative diseases and syphilis, could it be that this spirochetal infection, Lyme disease, is partly or wholly responsible for some of the neurologic degenerative diseases we face in this century? Alzheimer's, Lou Gehrig's disease, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis. Those are named conditions for which no cause is now known. We never had a, in the last five years, a single MS patient, a single ALS patient, a single Parkinson's patient who did not test positive for Borrelia burgdorferi, not a single one. About three years ago, I became ill with the disease that was ultimately thought to be ALS or Lou Gehrig disease and it prepared to die within about two years' time. My neurologist tells me that I was progressing so rapidly that without the diagnosis of Lyme disease and antibiotics, I would have continued to decline, losing strength, eventually becoming bedbound, eventually unable to talk or swallow or breathe, and would have died in a matter of a couple of years, just like anybody else with ALS. So I was started on high doses of intravenous antibiotics, only to see what would happen with no guarantees. To our amazement, within a month, my energy improved, so instead of being exhausted in an hour, I could be up and about and active for four or five hours. We're now two years out, and I find that if I go off of the antibiotics, I lose stamina and I'm not yet back to my full self. But the change is absolutely dramatic.